So you want to do a balloon powered car and you haven't got a balloon. How about a rubber glove? Well, that worked. Have a look in the video description for the build for this car. The only difference between this one and the actual built car is I'm using a rubber glove instead of a balloon. And because the hand is much bigger than the tube, I've wrapped some rubber bands around it just to hold it in place. The other thing I did was I've put a straw through the car to act as the tube for the axle just so that when the rubber band, sorry rubber band, when the balloon or the rubber glove in this case lays in the car it doesn't rub against the actual axle which slows it down. And I've also made sure the wheels are as far apart as I can so that it doesn't lay on top of the wheels either because that will slow it down. It's only a milk bottle or milk jug or milk carton. Drilled some holes in it, cut the top off, drilled a big hole in the back for that bit of tubing. And you may want to try different sized or different diameter tubes to see which gives you the best thrust. A larger tube lets the air out quickly, but with not much power. A very small tube lets the air out very slowly with very little power. But somewhere between the two, you'll find a tube that gives you the right speed and the right amount of thrust. One final point, because this is stretchy, you could use it like a rubber band powered car. Tie the gloves at one end of the car, tie a bit of string to the other end, and then wrap the string round the axle, same way that you'd wrap a rubber band round there normally. But if you use a bit of string, you won't have all these fingers in the way. And then stretch it.